What's up, everybody? It's Nerp here, and welcome back to another episode of the Beetleson Society Minecraft SMP. So, today's episode is going to be more of a tour, kind of what's been going on in the server and all the new stuff. And, uh, also, off camera, I've been building my first kind of base thing, house thing, and it's a boat, like you saw I started in the last video with the stronghold. And I'm going to turn around, you're going to be wowed. It's actually really cool. So... Here it is. Voila. This is the SS Nerp. It's really big. Obviously, this is too. It looks too good to be built just for my head. So, I did use um, a tutorial for uh, um, a few portions of this ship. And, like, mainly, like, I could not have done the mass and most of the sails without the without a tutorial but I have many modifications to make it more my own and like the like actual like shape of the ship ship is mostly from looking at other boats and stuff so yeah it, it looks awesome um, you can see it from really far away uh, it's huge I'm gonna we're gonna take a look at the inside and like I didn't actually decorate the inside yet. I'm gonna do that off camera. Here's a little makeshift dock I made to get on the boat. I'll probably it's, it's docked right now because the sails are not open, so it should have a dock. But I'll come back to that at the end of the video. I'll show you like the what can be done on the inside. But first, I'm going to show all the stuff that's been up that everybody's been up to on the server. So start uh, by with what's near us. So my neighbor over here is Spiffy Drew. He's a guy that uh, runs the ROM server. So thanks to him for making this possible. He lives here. Spiffy Drew's multi ravine home base. Actually, look really awesome in here. He's got the redstone lamps. He took a ravine, multiple ravines actually. And kind of deck them out like there's leaves a lot of lamps iron bars like little uh, bridges everywhere and it looks really nice it's easy to get lost in here so I'm not gonna explore too much but there's like three or something marines in here it's nice like a uh, passageways here and he is a I'll try to find his double uh, XP farm yeah, I think it's down here so this looks awesome nice this uh, base he has going here. Still working on it. And he is a skeleton zombie XP farm, double farm, so he's able to enchant a lot really fast. So let's get out of here before I get lost. Am I going the right way? Yeah, I'm going the right way. Okay. Oh, it's sundown. I'm gonna go to sleep so we can travel in the daytime. Uh, speaking of enchanting, I actually I uh, enchanted a full suit of diamond armor off camera, and I got some pretty bad enchants. I'm not wearing the armor right now, but the chestplate actually already broke. On the keep in mind, I put 30 levels on each of these items of uh, items of armor. Helmet had one enchantment. Aqua Affinity 1. Like, literally, that's it. That's all it had. No protection, no unbreaking, just Aqua Affinity 1. So that was terrible for 30 levels. And the chest plate had protection 3 and thorns 2, and no unbreaking. Pretty bad. Uh, where, where are they? Uh, where did I put them? Oh, I think they're in the ender chest. Yeah, I'll put it down. Yeah, so this had Aqua Affinity 1. Just unbreaking three on the legs. That's it. Like, not that good. And then just protection three in the diamond boots. I don't like those enchants. Probably got pretty unlucky on that. But, what can you do? Uh, I also enchanted a diamond pick and got silk touch. <coughs> so that's good. I actually need, uh, I'm going to start using this work pick now, this uh, efficiency five pick, because this one is about done. Um, I'll load this stuff in there go to sleep so then we can actually look around 
you know what? I'll just quickly show you the uh, ship while uh, while I'm at it, while I'm here, so I don't have to come back here. You actually, you can see it from really far distance, with far to render distance on. You can almost see the front of the ship. It, I think one time I was able to see it because the chunks were loaded like for, from Orangey's house, like just in front of Orangey's house. Like I can see it. But so uh, there, you can get in through this side, and you can see that's one of the decks inside. I did not do the interior yet. I'll probably do that between this episode and the next episode, maybe. So this is the top deck. These masts were a pain to build. These I had to stack up with a lot of stone and stuff. Here's the uh, back of the ship. Lights here. I have a bit of a mob problem spawning on the sails, but that's okay. Here's the captain's quarters. Probably have my bed and stuff in here, maybe enchantment table. And these are just like makeshift stairs. I'll change these. First deck. So, it's two and a half blocks high each deck, and it's really long, so I can actually fit a ton in here. Front of the ship. If I break these up, like if I break this up into rooms, I'll have a ton of room in here. I could really have a big home. Another level, there's five levels, so a lot of room. This level that has the doors that lead out. It's windows. Yeah, there's a ladder and door on both sides of the ship. This door, this, uh, that floor, nothing. And this is, uh, the bottom of the ship. I guess I could use this for storage. So that's basically all of the ship. Um, I'll have to do the inside. I, I really like the look of the outside though. So let's go. Oops. Overshot that. Um, and now I'm going to go to spawn. Yeah. Spawn um, town and stuff to show you guys the recent doings over there. So, now I have an easy way to get to Spawn Town. Spiffy Drew, my neighbor right here, uh, created a man-made river. At least this part is, this part is man-made. Like, if you didn't notice the last video, this was not... I think this was all uh, sand. He connected it with the, with the river down there at Orangey's house that connects to Spawn Town. So that's really nice. I can get down there with a boat now. And he also made a couple bridges like this to get over. So... Now I have easier travel there, so that's really nice. I'm gonna go ahead and make myself a boat to get over there. Um, okay. Nothing, nothing much going on that distance. That is, if you don't know what that, that's a ladder to the uh, public XP mob farm. So let's go down there. I might, I might repeat some stuff that I showed in the last video because. Uh, I don't entirely remember what I showed, so just bear with me. Or actually, I probably have lost show because I didn't show anything last video. Because last video, I think, was the stronghold video where me, Orangey, and Spiffy conquered the stronghold. So if we take our right, no, don't. Come on. How the? I wasn't even going fast. I tried stopping, but there goes the boat. I think that's like three boats already broken today. So you get the idea. If you keep on the river, you can still see the boat. It looks really cool in the distance. This is Scipio's uh, house. Still a work in progress, it looks like. Looks kind of cool. Uh, if you don't know, he was the guy I was... He was in the second... No, episode three of me on the server. A couple videos ago. So that's his house. Um, keep on the river. Like I said, it comes to Orangey. These are Orangey's farms and stuff all over here. I guess this is a tree farm of his, cactus farm, and he used to live. Uh, eh, it's a fun one. It's a cool way of mining out a tree. So th that's this is where the river leads, and he used to live like uh, in that like cave down there. If you don't remember, that's how I got to the Nether for the strongholds for the blaze, but. Now connecting to his potion shop, he built a castle. Not really a castle, more like just one tower. It looks really cool. So he did a great job on this. A lot of lapis used. Cool little uh, place you could drop down. So he, he did, this looks really nice. Um, I, I'm not sure what this uh, trip bar is for. Looks like there's a redstone line it connects to with a hopper. So I'm not sure. Maybe it's gonna like if you walk on it like 
the ground opens up and you fall into the lava, who knows? I wouldn't be surprised if Orange did that. So, it's really cool. Connects to this potion shop. I think we showed this potion shop though. Uh, here, I don't have to show that, but that was uh, Orangey's old little base. I think he still uses it though. The uh, entrance, the piston entrance is destroyed because, uh, yeah, Scipio uh, led a creeper to it and accidentally let it explode. But Orangey ha now has this tower. Um, what is new? What is new? I'm trying to remember here. Oh, I can see what's new. New vote. Yes, the last vote concluded. Um, I'll get to that in a second. This is a uh, magpie's mouth house. It's finished. I believe he's turning it into also a flower shop. So maybe we'll get some flowers here to decorate our boat. Uh, what else is new? Lots of stuff is still here from old. Oh, right here, big open spot. Uh, it's just the superb Simone slash the master. His house made of quartz. Another brick was right here. Uh, he took it down. I'm not sure why. Maybe he wanted. He didn't like it. And he's gonna make something else. I don't know. Uh, so my record shop is still here, still unopened, because I haven't found the time to get to finish getting the records. I got some donations, some records from people, so that's nice. But I'll try to get. I'll try to start opening this thing. I think I have more time now that the, the boat, the, that boat has been taking up most of my time. So now I should be able to get, get this working. So yeah, uh, my across the street neighbor, uh, Spiffy Drew's uh, Enchanted Bookshop is still here. And new shop right next door. So we got like three shops over here, it's kind of cool. This is uh, Crad Stash's Tackle Shop. Sells fishing supplies and stuff like that. Nice little fishing shack. I really like what he did with the entrance here, with the uh, fishing rod, and, and like uh, goes into the pond here, and then all this detail over here, and a little stream. So I think this looks really cool. Man, my 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 music disc, uh, my record shop, really looks so derpy when you see like this awesome uh, awesome fishing shack, uh, tackle shop, I mean, and uh, this really cool bookstore. But whatever. Yeah. So he's selling. Um, what do you expect him to sell? Almost everything you can get while fishing. Might have to buy some like name tags from him. Wow, 20 name tags. Wow. So, that's a useful shop. Uh, is anything going down over here? Oh, almost forgot. This is Ice Cream's house. If you haven't guessed, it is an ice cream cone. Get it? Ice cream, ice cream. Yeah. I don't think he has to finish. Uh, removing the smooth stone and replacing the sandstone, but looks kind of cool. Just a big ice cream cone. Uh, I think he's living here. Stained glass windows. Probably gonna have a lot of levels in here. I don't know. Very cool house. Um, what else is there? So, down that direction, I don't think much changed. Uh, Blinky's Castle. Uh, I think still the same. I'm not sure. He has a big mob farm. I'm not sure if you saw that. Uh, Church of Notch, I donated in the first episode of the server. I mean, you wouldn't expect me to do like another uh, uh, another tour of Spawn Town within like the first uh, within the first like two sports tours of Sp tours of Spawn Town within the first five episodes. But uh, people have been playing on the server a ton, so I feel like I have to show you guys what's been going on. And I'm doing most of my work with building that ship and the inside and stuff off camera. Yeah. Mm. All right. I was gonna use water to get up, but then the torches would be pushed off. So yeah. So I was saying about this vote. Um. Yeah. So the last week's vote, or I'm not sure if it's weekly or whatever, but the last vote uh, on whether or not we should turn to off or on mob griefing. Mob griefing is like creepers blowing up blocks. I think Enderman picking up blocks counts. Um, so it can destroy builds and stuff, but it also takes away an element of vanilla mine crack. And the final voting was we should leave uh, the creeper damage on 8 to 7 votes. So I was really close. And 
can always revisit things in the future. And now this week's vote. Do we change to another server host, not Realms? Now the reason we would do this is because although Realms is working really well, pretty good connection for everybody, very simple to use, uh, even though Spiffy's in charge of it, like he doesn't have to do that much maintenance for it. Um, it's been great and all, but there's a max limit of 20 players on the server with Realms. And there's some people, uh, some Scrolls players that want to get in the server, but they just simply can't because we're full. And we do want as many active people in the server as possible. Like, this server was only made a couple weeks ago, and look how much, like, people have done already. So, uh, it's been a lot of fun. People want to get on the server, so even more than 20 people on the server would be awesome, but we would need to go to a new, uh, server host to do that. And the downside of that is, I don't really know if I'm going to have good connections there and stuff like that. It might be harder to do, might have more problems, because this, the Realms is all run by Mojang. But I did vote, um... Yes, because I think it's better to have a more, uh, just always active people playing on the server and more players on the server. And I trust that we can get, like, a good server with a good connection. So that's that. Um, so these are just the public farms. This right here. If you did not know, Jeb's cat named Newton uh, recently passed away just a few days ago actually pretty sad it's like it was 10 years old or something but uh so I scream here made a tribute to Newton uh, he's gonna go over it and re replace it with uh, white and black wool if you didn't know Jeb's cat Newton this cat was the model for the Minecraft ocelot I mean cat so yeah so I guess this is a little thanks to Jeb for all that he did in his recent work on scrolls and he was really great so yep uh, over here is dragons I think dragons he made a public auto smelter so yeah I'm not sure if I'll ever need to use this though because it's like in spawn town I could always like smell it at my place but it could come in handy so very nice thing dragons did another really nice thing dragons did if you didn't know he he was the one who organized uh, that UHC on my channel, so go check that out if you didn't see it. But it was the Beetlestone Society's very first UHC, and it was a ton of fun. Made possible by him and Orangey did a lot of the uh, commands. So now, this is kind of like over here is like a literally the spawn plateau. Like that's where you spawn. It's a plateau where you spawn on. Has community farms, the voting booth, the pedal stone, the auto smelter, and a cat, <laughs> Newton. And I guess this is Spawn Town with shops, some houses. And then down there, I don't think I showed it before, that is Games Plateau. I'll show it now. It's where we are going to host some like mini games and stuff. Maybe we'll have some arenas down there. Uh, like right now, that thing up there that reaches into the sky, that's King of the Ladder. So maybe this is like a cool place that we can record some videos with some of the other uh, Beetle Stoners. And there's some cool games down there. Eh, I'm not sure if it's worth showing, but I will anyways. So you just have to go down this way. I haven't actually done much on it yet myself. Maybe I'll build a little game over here. So I'm not sure what some of the games do. But I'm sure you'll see me play them in future videos down there to my left past the plateau past the desert there's another desert down there is Ugster's house uh, I'm not gonna go down there it's a really long walk but um, he has a lot of big farms down there he has a house in whatever you call the the like I'm, I'm not sure what the, it's the forest that has the dark oak wood and the mushrooms he has a house in there looks really cool it's down all the way down that way uh, that's I was gonna say over here, right if I look down, is the burning bush. That was just uh, testing if uh, fire would burn stuff because Spiffy turned off the game rule that fire can burn stuff. And that's because actually when I was building my boat that took a very long time, lightning struck the deck and I lost like almost half the boat before putting out the rest of the fire and it was really annoying so 
Fire can be really destructive to builds and it's out of your control with lightning. So we turned that off and that was just a test to see what would be off. And as you can see, the leaves are burning, the bush is burning, but it's not going out. So yeah. Um, oh, I think that's about it. There's probably more stuff that I didn't get to that was recently on the server. But I'm probably not going to do like a, 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 like, um, tour of like spawn in a while. But there's a ton of new stuff that came out. And I'll probably do more building again next time. And my, uh, my, what's it called? My boat will be all pimped out on the inside, maybe. Probably have a new suit of diamond armor. That will be better enchanted. Before I go. Magpie Man started on his giant scrolls board, so he's literally recreating a scrolls board. I should probably look at this in the daytime, not nighttime, but uh, I'm, I'm too lazy to go back and, and sleep. So, he's, it's actually really big. It's not like as big as like a whole biome, but he, he didn't do much of it yet. Oh, there's a nice chance for a uh, record disc, but oh, chain, look at all these guys. So, I'm not sure who lives in this house. It might be Magpie. Alright. Well, here is his scrolls. So, he flattened out the area. And he, as you can see, he's like made the hexes. So, these are how big the hexes are. I guess you could play with people. And I could see this when it's done, it's becoming really cool. He's going to do the normal, like, the most iconic scrolls background, although not that iconic, the uh, the grass background. So I guess he did already one of the sides um, hexes. I'm not sure he did the other side. Yeah, I don't think he did the other side's hexes. But so I can see this becoming really cool. He's gonna right now he's having trouble working on the uh, how to make the idols look really cool in 3D. So this is gonna be really cool. I guess he could like play with the players as the scrolls or something or maybe mobs but definitely since we are the Beatlestone Society Minecraft server we gotta have some scrolls themed builds so I think that'll be it for uh, today's episode now sorry I didn't actually do much but I showed you my awesome boat um, most of the new things going on in spawn and maybe next time we'll do more building so make sure you uh, like the video if you enjoyed subscribe if you want more videos like this and don't forget to check out the Beatles and Society's first UHC if you didn't check it if you didn't see it because it was a ton of fun and we'll do more of those in the future. So see you guys next time.